Come on. You're going to get left. Bye. I'm like a little kid. What cold do you think it is right now? Oh, gosh. Six. <laughs> And this is the most dreadful part of a cold morning when you have to start packing up. I have to pack up my sleeping bag and it goes first. So that means I gotta climb out and be cold from the time I climb out of the sleeping bag and put it up until the time that I have everything all put up and torn down and then I start going up this hill. It's time to do a little swishy switcheroo with some of my gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the poncho tarp. So I'll be using that as my new rain gear and also as my new shelter with the bivy system. So I'm a little nervous about using that system, but also excited just because it's something different, something I've never used before on a longer trek. And really I wanna see the practicality of using something like that on a longer hack and in the colder temperatures is really going to be telling of whether that's something that I would enjoy or not. We left Fancy Meg at home and I'm sad but we left her because we knew it would probably be raining a couple of days in this stretch and that way she wouldn't have to walk in it. Marty's getting mad at me because every time I say, well, at least it's not raining. <laughs> and it cranks back up. Good boy. <laughs> What's his name? Colby. Colby. Colby He's Instagram famous. The Shoal Creek Church. A very, very old log church. Oh, cool. And the bottom just fell out. Hey, it's good timing though. It's good timing. I would crap my pants if somebody answered. <laughs> All right, this time that light is another person, not the moon. Hello. Well, we found a swamp here. And there's a blaze <laughs> on that tree in the middle of the water. Oh my gosh. There's the beaver dam up there that's causing the problem. That's causing the beautiful <laughs> pond here. That's what I meant. Now we are bushwhacking so we don't have to walk way steep in the swamp. Finding somebody's old still. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to get in it whether we want to or not. Oh. Here's the dam. Found it. <laughs> This evening, I am marking something off of my bucket list that I, I didn't know was on my bucket list, but 
I'm walking across the beaver dam and I'm really hoping that it's as secure as I want it to be. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bucket list item complete. And I'm zooming on the trees. <laughs> it's easier than it looks when you when you're not on it. Yeah, you were sliding on it way better. Yeah. The the problem with this tree is the top one, the bark is falling off, and the bottom one is slick. Yay! You ain't hiding. I saw your little eyes glowing. This knot hack has turned out to be quite troublesome compared to the others. <laughs> it is. It's like a, a lot of briars up here. obstacle course. You hear me? Yes, that's my favorite. Oh. <gasps> oh! Sorry, that bird just flew out of that root ball. <laughs> I thought the root ball was falling. I see a spider way up by that log. And it just moved. That's how far you can see them from. Wait, where is he at? There. I just saw a raccoon on this. Where? That. On another tree? I just saw the eyes and I was like, that's a big old spider. And then I realized it wasn't a spider. <laughs> yeah, I see him here. <laughs> Another wilderness area. I'm glad I left my hang glider at home. There's Marty's nice triplex. And <laughs> here's my uh, my bivy. He thinks I'm crazy and I think he's right. Well, this is gonna be a problem. Come on, little guy. This is my home right now. Oh, no, don't get in my bivy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go on now. No. You have to go sleep somewhere else. Once the temperature started dropping, I switched to the Catabatic, I believe it's pronounced Alsec 22 degree quilt, and I love it. It is, it is very lofty. It's kept me warm at least into the upper 20s. It does a pretty good job of cinching down in a way that you're able to block drafts, but I do, I think, like the strap system that goes on your sleeping pad better on the enlightened equipment quilt I was using. I just, it was a bit easier to adjust and kind of lock in place. But, uh, but all in all, I really do like this quilt and I'm excited to keep using it because it seems appropriate for the current temperatures I'm facing right now. Another thing I've been playing around with as far as sleep systems go is a pillow. I first started with the Flex Air Pillow by Latsmith, and it's very cheap, extremely lightweight. It hasn't been my favorite one, I'll say that, but it would definitely work if you were wanting to stay just very ultralight, but you wanted a little bit more comfort. Next, I tried out the Sea to Summit Eros Ultralight. That one was 
a little bit better even though I played with the inflation levels and everything it just seemed to pop out from under my head while I was trying to sleep and I'd wake up with it off my sleeping pad next I tried the Trekology pillow because a lot of people seem to have that as their favorite camping backpack and pillow that pillow was pretty nice because it comes with a strap attached to it so you can put it around your sleeping pad so that one was pretty good but it still ended up getting loose for me some in the night not as much as the other one uh, so finally i think i have landed on the climate x pillow so far that one has been my favorite and has worked the best for me and in the x part of the pillow there's a little dip and my head just seems to stay better in place regardless if I'm on my back or on my side and I didn't have to chase that pillow around all night. Now I should qualify all of this by saying that I'm not super big on pillows even when I'm back home. I'm the kind of person that likes the, the flattest, floppiest pillow and I don't like my head to be 10 stories up from my shoulders when I sleep. Uh, so for different people, you might feel another way but if you're somebody who likes flat, fluffy pillows and you don't want to chase your sleeping pillow around all night, you might like the Climate X pillow also. Yeah, it makes you wonder what happened, you know? Yeah. Of course, I can't help but think about how scared they must have been. <laughs> Is it slick? If it's slick. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. We got to hack with another hacker for a little while and chatted up which is exciting but honestly I hadn't seen anybody for so long that <laughs> when I heard human footsteps behind me I thought oh my gosh it's a human and I turned around and as I looked at him he spoke to me and I screamed <laughs> I just didn't even hear him creeping up so it completely caught me off guard oh my gosh Wow. I don't normally take the time to do this, but since it is cold out, we're about to stop for lunch. I am not gonna have soaking feet the rest of the day. No! <laughs> Off to a bad start here. North Duggar Mountain Shelter. Looks pretty roomy. Dear Diary. You put 2012. I'm, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm certain. That's the kind of day it's been. In the whole time I've been out on this trail, there might have been one night where I haven't not hiked. And that, <laughs> that was a glorious day, but I've just, I've kind of quit lying to myself that I'm going to do better uh, because I'm just not an early riser. I know. Feet don't pick up the same when you're tired, do they? Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks rough. Yeah, to up that. Oh! <laughs> Can't even stand up.
I felt like it had forgotten that it needed to shine on Earth sometimes. Are you happy it's going to town day? I'm, I'm ready for a shower. <laughs> Oh my god. I just saw a flame, I thought. Yeah, you did. Wow. <laughs> this thing wouldn't be so bad if it was warm, like I can tell right now. I would actually probably like it. I don't understand, like what could you possibly like about it? I, I don't... Oh, that it's, I mean, the weight that you carry on your back all day. Yeah. And I, I, I enjoy cowboy camping when it's not cold because you're just out in the open, you know, which is pretty cool. After a very, very short stint with the Mount Laurel Designs poncho tarp, I'm pushing that test to the back burner for now until I've got some warmer weather. So whether I test it out on the Florida Trail or later next year sometime, it's just got to wait because honestly, right now, I cannot give it a fair design and that is no fault of its own it's just i'm very very cold natured and i had planned on being done with this trail there was still nice weather and i think if i had taken it this past summer with me to the pine mountain trail that would have been a great place to test it so having the open design of a tarp it's just a little bit too greasy for me once i get to camp with temperatures this cold also and i knew this from the beginning tarping especially with something like the poncho tarp is an acquired skill it's something that you work on and and for me in this cold of temperatures it just makes it not fun so i'm gonna have to hold off i'm gonna go ahead and and say that i like the lightweight design of having your rain gear and your shelter all in one i really do think that there is an application for it where i would enjoy it a lot more just not in the winter time I'm going to stick uh, with the tents for now. I think I'm probably going to test out another tent in the place of the poncho tarp. But also, I've got the hammock set up coming up. I still feel like that's going to be a lot better than the tarpon situation, but uh, we'll see. 